Okay, Christmas is coming. It's time to think about getting the bird. Well, unlike my bean curd substitute turkey, there's all sorts of stories and myths about the dangers of the frozen turkey. I've heard it's cracked floor tiles, like broken toes, and even caused the death of some pets. Well, why don't we separate fact from fiction and see how lethal these frozen turkeys are? Yeah, it'll be like a public service. Exactly. Every holiday season, we humans cause the turkey population to plummet. But is it possible for a falling frozen turkey to turn the tables on us? When dropping turkeys, what do you need? Well, first up, a steel turkey dropper rig to play the role of a frazzled homemaker. Grant is making its power mechanism. I am rigging up the air system for the turkey drop rig. And these are rotary pneumatic air cylinders. When I hit this button, it's going to open up the arms just like that, dropping the turkey. Meanwhile, Tori demonstrates his handyman skills. So we need some hands to hold the turkey for the turkey drop mechanism. So what I'm doing right now, I'm gonna pour up some hands in some urethane and I'm gonna put this tube, these steel tubes into the hands and they will slip into the arms of the rig. He pours the instant urethane into pre-made molds, gives them a shake, and presto. Give him a hand, everyone. Little fella. Don't touch me with those. Well, you don't know where these have been? Yeah. Tori attaches his arms to the rig. Put it there. Nice. Using a sandbag as a substitute bird, they're ready to test its turkey dropping technique. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one. Looks like we need to make some new hands. Now, that's what I call a firm handshake. Do we want to talk about why I just got hit in the head with a thumb? Um, um no. no. While the guys make their modifications, Carrie is creating some feet. Adam already has made a mold for our steel cap boot experiment in the past, and I'm going to use this because it makes a great skeleton foot. The skeleton is made from a mix of urethane and fiberglass that dries to a realistic bone-like texture. Oh, that's a good mold Adam made here. This one fits into here. This one. Then they're encased in a foot-shaped mold of ballistics gelatin. Nice. Her feet are definitely suffering from fallen arches, but they'll do just fine. OK, just go stick these in the fridge till we use them. Now, because we're all dog lovers here at Mythbusters, to test the turkeys falling on small pets myth, Carrie is making fake pooches. She covers canine replica skeletons in ballistics medium. This is definitely not a breed recommended for families with small children. This is not a normal family Christmas for me because dogs in my family are very cute and snuggly. They're, they're neither drippy nor frightening. To up the realism, professional still life model Gertrude is helping out. I'm trying to figure out exactly how the hindquarters look on a dog. And uh, Gertrude's modeling for me because she's almost the same dog. Maybe not quite the same. She adds some bulging eyeballs. Yeah, um, this really doesn't have anything to do with the myth, but um, it's a flesh-eating zombie dog, um, so it, it needs some flesh-eating zombie googly eyes. <laughs> so 